back in the saddle again. Welcome back, everybody. This is Johnny Blender with Whiskey Cars and Cigars. I wasn't supposed to start till 7, but I got to tell you, I've just been sitting here getting excited. I'm ready to start. Uh, a few things are popping up here I'm having to look at real quick. Kane has come up here and joined me in the, in the uh, studio tonight. Um, let's see. Uh, so let's 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 kick. Hold on before I do anything. Awesome. Mm. Let's kick the tires and light the fires, baby. Uh, with the new season of life comes racing, smoking, traveling, and of course moonshine. Whiskey cars and cigars is here for the sole purpose of promoting. Saving our listeners money, having fun without politics or religion or COVID. Uh, for the 2021 season, we will be welcoming back some of our past sponsors and welcoming some new ones. I've got a new little uh, tablet here that uh, I picked up for my birthday. I think it was my birthday. Um and it's kind of cool. I'm 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 getting used to it. It's uh, like it's a uh, it's like an iPad, but it's an Android tablet. I really like it. So, in the words of Lizzie Borden, "Let's cut to it and get started." Uh, the Southern Outlaw Gassers are starting their first event off next weekend, January 23rd at Cottonwood Dragway, Cottonwood, Alabama. Uh, they planned on having it this upcoming weekend, but looks like Friday night low temps, Saturday a.m. Saturday morning low temps with wind. So they have decided to move that back to next Saturday, January twenty third. They'll have their car show, or excuse me, their swap meet. Uh, they're racing. It's a great event. Uh, January 23rd, Jesse said that his cool trophies are just a little too cool this weekend. So he apologizes for this, but he is jumping everything back up to next weekend, the following weekend, January 23rd. And like I said, that's at Cottonwood Dragway, Cottonwood, Alabama. And I will contact Jesse and find out if there's a host hotel, uh, if there is that they have or that they're running a special at, I will sent, put that up this week on Facebook uh, so you can look at that and make reservations to be there. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, my buddy Glenn Cur Culverson. Glenn, this is Johnny Blender's Hard Cream Soda. It's a new uh, moonshine I concocted. It's a hundred proof of cream soda. I took it to my neighbor across the street when he was out working. I said, "Hey, tell me what you think of this." And he, I gave him a, I gave him a red cup with about an inch in it. He was out hot, and he slammed about half of it down. And uh, he looked at me with his water and eyes and said, "What was that?" I said, "That was some new cream soda moonshine I made. What do you think of that?" And and he said. <laughs> Tastes just like cream soda. Uh, so he really enjoyed it, and he said, hey, can I get a quart of that? Uh, so it, it's kind of cool. It's something that we like. Uh, and talking about the Southern Outlaw Gassers, I want to remind everybody, if you, if, if the, their swap meets are awesome. Uh, if you want to save some money and you're looking for some parts or you've got some extra stuff that laying around the shop that you won't get rid of, uh, the swap meet is the place to go. I mean, it's where racers can find good deals on parts, and it's it's where if you're you're looking some for stuff in your own kind of a tight budget, it's a great place to go. Uh, I have bought things at the swap meet, and they have been awesome. Um, the turnout's always good, so you need to get out there and check this event next weekend, January twenty third at Cottonwood Dragway, Cottonwood, Alabama. Enjoy a great weekend with the swap meet, with the racers, with the food. It's awesome. You will enjoy this. Let me jump over here. Hey, Ronnie and Lori Ovens, where the heck have I been? Well, man, we just had to take a little break because of the holidays and everything. And, it, and with the COVID and everything, there wasn't a lot going on. 
uh, and I have really missed it. I started the show about 10 minutes early tonight just simply because I have missed doing this. This is my fourth season of doing this. This is episode one of the fourth season. So you'll be able to find the show everywhere once it's off. It's streaming live on the Edge Radio US right now. Uh, but then it'll be on all the other places that YouTube, uh, iHeartRadio, will be everywhere after the show's over. About 15 minutes after the show's over, it'll be up. Uh, it takes me a little time, and I've, I've got to remember how to do some of this stuff again. Uh, Mark Surgison's tuning in from the Great White North. It's really, is this really live right now? It is, Mark. It is me. And I am back, cold vining. Uh, the first race, let's see, Colvine, Baton Rouge Speed, uh, no, Pike County Speedway will have their first race March 6th at Pike County Speedway. Uh, looking forward to that. Hopefully we'll be able to get out to a few of those races this year and see some of the roundy round guys. Uh, I actually, I got to go, I want to go see my buddy Cole. We got his, uh, his, his, uh, dirt car in the track right now that we've been sandblasting and getting ready to powder coat. Uh, for for him to kick off this season, so we're excited about that. Uh, just and, and got to go see my boy Whalen. Whalen, his dirt cart. Uh, he he he, three time state champion, I think it is. I can't a three or four time state champion. Little Whalen is. So we've watched him grow on this show, and congratulations, Whalen. Uh, oh, and I heard that there might be something about a little girlfriend or something out there that's running in the same class he is. So we may have a little bit better racing this year on the dirt cart series. Um, so let me let me scroll down here on my pad and see what's next. Uh, another returning sponsor, and like I said, Jesse Holmes and the the Southern Outlaw Gassers have been a sponsor of the show since we started. Uh, we really appreciate everything they've done sticking with us. We've helped promote as much as we could on their events. We've tried to get to some of their events. Uh, our schedule has been crazy. It's not, it's now it's not crazy busy. It's just crazy not happening. And even though we didn't get a stimulus check, Lynn or myself, it seems like everyone who did has been bringing them to us to do work. So we have been buried in work since March of last year. Uh, and I am thankful for that. And we are very happy, but we have been busy, busy, busy. And I am trying to slow things down a little bit in the shop this year. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, more, uh, a little bit more later. Uh, sure did miss it. Glad you were back. Hey, th Mark, you know, I got to tell you, I have, I have missed doing this. Uh, sometimes it does get, get, when you're working 12, 14 hours a day in a shop, it's hard to stop what you're doing and, and put a show together and get everything organized on what you want to talk about, what you want to cover. Uh, it gets hard sometimes. And then sometimes you're just so damn tired when you come in after working all day and as busy as we have been, uh, I have been making moonshine every couple of weekends, uh, pretty much every other weekend, every three weekends. takes takes mash about two two weeks to ferment. So we we've been making uh, we've been making some interesting blends. Johnny Blender's hard cream soda. We also have Johnny Blender's hard uh, root beer, and our latest creation is Johnny Blender's Dream Sickle. We had a cold coming in. We had a whole bunch of tangerine, uh, satsumas on the tree. So we got them, we crushed them, we mashed them, we made them in, we put them in our mash and uh, made a pretty damn good moonshine with it. Uh, just something that we thought of and thought it'd be kind of cool to try. Lynn is the master chef in the kitchen and I'm just the guy who runs the oven. And uh, so yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. So we're, we're going to be uh, hopefully coming to an event near you real soon. We were looking kind of forward to Jesse's event this weekend. Now we've got to check. We've got some, we've got some things going on next week that, uh, uh, we've got to work through and see how they come. Plus we've got a lot of work in the shop that we need to get out. So we're going to try to get that taken care of. Left my hair down tonight. I didn't feel like putting it up. I just, uh, I figured I'd let it run that way. If my grandkids are watching, they can say, there's my hippie grandpa. Uh, so if, uh, Damon and Piper and my daughter Brittany are watching and my son-in-law Chris are watching. Hello. Hope y'all were doing well. 
uh, if my son and daughter-in-law, out Eddie and uh, Jamie, out in West Texas, I uh, heard they had five inches of snow yesterday, so I hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. Uh, glad you're back. I've been missing you. Your, go your gold locks. Ronnie, Lowe Ronnie and Lori Owens are two of my favorite people in the world. Uh, I'm, I'm glad they've stuck with us and, and keep coming back. And even though sometimes I drink a little too much when I'm doing the show, uh, I'm not saying, you know, everybody has New Year's resolutions. I'm not saying that I'm not going to do that for 2021 because that would be a lie. Uh, in fact, that tastes just like cream soda. You could put any cream soda next to that right now. It tastes just like it. The only thing that's different, it's a hundred proof. Ah, that's good. Uh, let me scroll down here. I got a few more messages. Germ Fair. Hey, buddy. How you doing, buddy? I hope you and your children had a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. I uh, didn't get to get out and wish as many people all the holiday and, and holiday greetings and everything that I wanted to. But like I said, we've just been busy. I know everybody has, has had a lot of shortcomings because of the COVID and hadn't been able to do a lot and stuck at home and sick. And uh, But we've just been plugging along. And like I said, people just keep showing up to the shop, bringing more stuff. Hey, I see my buddy Robert Forrester has tuned in. Hey, man, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to be back, Robert. Uh, and hopefully this is episode one and we have a really exciting season plan. I've been working with some tool manufacturers and some tool companies. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot. Let me give you a little bit of going on an, an idea of what we're going to do in the shop this year or on the show with some drop in, uh, segments during the week, uh, coming from the shop. Since we've got some of this new equipment, there's a lot more stuff that we can do. And I'm looking forward to actually doing it, working it. Um, but we've got some tool equipment companies that we are getting equipment from. And I, I want, and the reason we're doing that is because I just got bored watching product demonstrations and things like that on YouTube and other channels where people would get something that was in a box. They would open the box and take it all out. They would show you all the parts in the box and then they would do something minimal with a piece of scrap metal or something that they were for whatever the part was they were trying to talk about. Uh, I just hated it, man. I hate that. Uh, if I, if I get a product and I've got something that's a tool for the shop that I'm going to work with, I'm going to work with it. I, if it's a plasma cutter, which we have one coming in from a company called Hitbox that they want us want us to look at all of their products. Uh, now we've got Miller and thermal dye, uh, 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 Hypertherm, Miller, uh, Lincoln equipment in the shop, but we've got some off wall stuff. Those are high dollar, uh, that's high dollar equipment. Uh, so we're going to start looking at some affordable pricing equipment uh, and, and just check it out, put it through the test. The, uh, when the, when the uh, uh, Hitbox comes in, the Hitbox plasma cutter comes in, uh, one of the first things we're doing with it is yes, I'll show it the box. I, I'll show you how it comes out of the box. I'm not going to show you everything that's in the box. I'm going to put the damn thing together. And I've already got a project laid out on my jig that I'm going to cut out on some quarter inch uh, steel plate or steel tubing. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting on my jig, I'm putting a lot of adjustments on it where I can build a whole lot of things on one jig. Right now, I've got the jig set up where I can build two different chassis at one time. I can build our Drop Z rat rod chassis like Ronnie Owens has, uh, and then our, T our 28 T-bucket chassis, I can build that, build those two cars on the same jig at exactly the same time uh, without any interference, interference from one or the other. Now, I don't know how they're gonna be to take out once I've got both of them done on the jig, that may be a whole new adventure. That may be a video in itself, but I've got, I'm putting slots on it where I can do adjustments on the cross arms and I'm locking places in like for the radius rods, I'm locking brackets in where the radius rods, the hind joints fit, uh, every, the, the tubing is a whole bunch of cool stuff that I'm doing to the jig. So I put a, uh, I don't know if anybody saw the center line, the digital center line I put on there, the led red laser center line I put on it last week or week four left. So I got some really cool stuff going to make chassis even better. Um, 
but like I said, we're we're doing use go use this product. Uh, we're pulling it out of the box. We're plugging it in, and I've already got stuff laid out on the jig that we're going to cut out. So we're going to see if it works. If it works, we'll promote it. Uh, if it doesn't work and it sucks, I will tell you it sucks. And I have told the companies that I'm dealing with, I said, look, you send me a product that you put your name on and you're telling me how good it is. I'm going to put it to the test because I know how to use equipment. If it's good, I will sing your praises. If it sucks, I will compare it to biting a fart. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll just see what happens. And, and like I said, we've got a lot of stuff coming in. We're going to be doing some short segments, probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe from the shop. I've been wanting to do that for years, but we just haven't had bandwidth. We haven't had equipment. We haven't had everything that we've needed to do that. And now um, we've, be, we've been very fortunate in to pick up some really good equipment. Uh, and I totally got off this little script that I had here that I was supposed to be doing. So I jumped over. And if I talk about some of this stuff later on, it'll be because I'm reading. But like I said, this is my first show back in, in several, in four months, three and a half months. Uh, I'm excited. I came on 10 minutes early. Uh, and believe it or not, I haven't drank much this entire COVID season, except when I was tasting some of the moonshine. You know, we got to thinking about that. Saturday morning, last Saturday, Saturday a week ago, we got to thinking about that. I got up at five o'clock in the morning. Lynn gets up with the dog about five thirty. Well, when I got up at five, I set up on the stove and started running moonshine, and I was tasting it when it started coming out about five forty-five, six o'clock. I started tasting it and sipping it and seeing how it was turn out, checking the proof on it and everything. And I'm looking at Lynn. I said, "What do you think normal people do?" at six o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Um, so it's a good life, man. We enjoy it. Let me catch up on a couple of these messages. They're, they're popping up everywhere. Let me see what all I got here. Uh, Germ, we did. Santa was good to them. That's awesome. Germ, Germ Fair is a friend of mine. Um, does a lot of cosplay, builds, co makes costumes, uh, is a musician, uh, and is a single father. And I got to tell you, I know a lot of guys, I, I wasn't that great of a father. Uh, but I tell you what, Germ Farah has picked up for what I was lacking. Germ has definitely done with his kids. And I got to applaud him. A single father raising girls. Germ, you're one hell of a man. And I'm proud to call you my friend. Um, Wanda, Uncle, Aunt Wanda and Uncle DW sitting back home in Picky in Mississippi uh, watching the show tonight. So thank you. I'm glad y'all have tuned in. I know y'all had a great holiday. Um, let's see. Glenn Carlson. Let me put my glasses on. I've been trying to do this without my glasses, but these, some of this stuff's kind of small. Um, great to have you back, Big John and Lynn. Uh, is Lynn there with you? I enjoy when she heckles you. you no, know, she's sitting downstairs uh, pretty much telling me everything I'm doing wrong. So we're, we're all good. That's, that's fine. Uh, and like I said, we are here on Facebook and we are broadcasting live on the Edge Radio US. That's my radio voice. You like that? Um, all right, let me jump back down here to my notes real quick. See if I can find out where I stopped. Uh, and that, Another returning sponsor for Season 4 is Hot Rods House of Power, New Lenox, Illinois. Um, Illinois. Uh, Hot Rod, Jerry Robb is the owner of Hot Rods House of Power, and he is going to be doing some race events this year, and we will keep you up to date on those events, where and when they're going to be. Uh, Jerry always has pretty cool stars at his events. Uh, last event had Brett, the big swag Wagner again and horny Mike from counting cars. Didn't really know who horny Mike was. Uh, but I actually went back and looked at a couple episodes of counting cars and, and, uh, found out who he was. And I got to tell you, it, it might have been a really good thing that I didn't show up at Dyersburg, uh, last year for hot rods house of power event. Uh, because something just tells me that Horny Mike and myself together might have had some issues. Um, we might have gotten into a lot of trouble. And Jerry Robb, as wonderful as a guy as he is, I don't know if he had that much bail money with him. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I want to give a shout out. I want to give a big shout out to my boy Moonshine. 
Now, Jared Robb's got the guy that does, does just a ton of unbelievable body work. Uh, I've seen some of the stuff that he's done. The guy does an unbelievable job of body work. Uh, and his, they, his name is Don Manshu, but they, his nickname is Moonshine. So Jerry hired a guy named Moonshine. So that's an omen right there. So this right here, Johnny Blenders, hard cream soda. This is to you, Moonshine. I'm drinking this one for you, brother. Oh, man, that's awesome. I make some damn good hard cream soda. Uh, now let's talk about one of my favorite things. <laughs> you like how I segued into that? Uh, Crescent can of CBD oil. If you're tired of feeling sick and tired, you need to check out Crescent Canna at Crescent, C-R-E-S-C-E-N-T, Canna, C-A-N-N-A dot com. Um, oh, I'm being joined by author Lynn Gibson and Kane. And Kane. And Kane, the little, little the, the, the little Great Dane that is growing. Um, Crescent Canna, these products are awesome. I've got a bunch of them that I use, and I got to tell you, they are helping me with my arthritis. They are help. I'm a big supporter of CBD products. Uh, Crescent Canna has got the real deal. They've got some off the wall products. They even make um, a CBD product for pets, and it's in bacon and peanut butter flavor. And 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 uh, Mr. Schmidt, the uh, C. F O, I think he's one of them letter people with Crescent Canna. I said, Dale, man, make that stuff peanut butter and 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 bacon. Make that for humans. So I give the dog theirs every couple of days, and uh, I'll take a little bit for myself because the bacon is really good. I hadn't tried the the uh, peanut butter yet, but the bacon is awesome. Uh, but check them out, and don't forget, you can find them online, crescentcanna.com, and if you use Edge 2020, now this company's got really good prices. They've got some of the best prices on CBD products and affordable prices that I've seen. Uh, but if you use the discount code EDGE2020, 30% off of those already good products. So you really need are already good prices. So you really need to check them out. They've got a whole line of stuff. They've even got stuff on there that I don't know what the hell it is. They've got flowers, CBD Bait. flowers. They got vape cartridges. They've got all that kind of stuff. But I don't know what the flowers are. I think people smoke those. Smoke. You smoke them. Uh, put them in the pipe and smoke Put them in the pipe and smoke it. So did you hear the Lizzie Borden? Uh, uh, yeah. You like that? Yeah, I threw a little horror in there for you. you. I got a little. You can put your moonshine in my Lizzie Borden glass. Oh, you got a Lizzie Borden glass? Oh, damn. Yeah. Sure do. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm sorry for turning my back on you people. Um, will Lynn still have her Tuesday night show? That's coming in from Glenn Culbertson. Hey, Glenn. Um, probably we'll be starting back up at the beginning of February. She will be starting back up at the beginning of February on Tuesday nights on the Edge Radio and Facebook. We've got some, well, I'll get to that a little bit later. But first, I want to finish what I was saying about Crescent Canna CBD products. You've got to check them out. Don't forget Edge 2020 for 30% off uh, on your order. And that's not just your first order. Some companies will give you a discount on just your first order. This is anytime you call on 30% off. Use the W the Edge 2020 discount code, 30% off. Uh, and then call me, message me, whatever. Let me know how you like it. I'm telling you, you're going to love these products. Yeah, with all this cold, damp weather. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the perfect time to try some of these That's right. topicals. Out. That's right. I use, I use Crescent Canna products every day, and they have made my life and pain so much easier. Um well, let's see. I already, oh, here's the part I was going to talk about. Well, this year on WCW, we're going to be shooting more features in the shop of new products. So you see, I jumped a gun on that a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and read this since I took the time to write it. Uh, product reviews are going to be the same, not going to be the same old shit you see everywhere where they unpack the items and point at all the pretty buttons uh, and then do something stupid with it. 
Uh, I'll be using products on jobs, and we will see if they work or if they suck. Uh, if I can save you money, that's the main takeaway. I'm going to try to find products that have good quality, high quality, uh, and will last. Uh, and anybody who knows me or has been to the shop knows that I am not the most easy person on equipment. Uh, I make a lot of equipment just simply because I make a lot of stuff simply because the idea of what the manufacturers wanted to do and what they actually made were very, very different products. I took a jet uh, lathe. I've got a jet lathe, the jet 24-inch uh, lathe, and uh, yeah, it worked, it worked good. And then when we flooded a couple of years ago, the motor got wet, so I needed a new motor. Well, the motor was $600, so I started looking for another alternative for a motor something that would give me the RPMs, the, the torque, and everything that I needed when I was on the lathe. And a, a good buddy of mine turned me on Is to... Is that where my special little friend went? Which one? The motor, you know, the kickstart thing that was in my bedside. No, 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 no. no that, that's on something. That's on a fishing rod. Uh, but I took that and took a, a, a treadmill motor, which was, uh, I, I got a treadmill donated, given to me by Ken and Sandy Thibodeau. Uh, they were getting rid of one. I took it, took it all apart, took the treadmill motor off, put the 24 volt treadmill volt motor on my lathe. And I got to tell you, it spins better and I have more precision control with a $20 uh eBay China controller, a potentiometer controller for the for the uh, motor. I can speed it as fast as I want it to go or as slow as I want it to go. So it's wonderful. So that's what we do with products. We figure out how to find something that's good. Uh, you know, nobody won't. You'll just see some of the products. I don't want to start talking about any one particular product right now until it gets here. Uh, and then I can start working on those companies and, and finding out, okay, now that I tested your product, this is what I think of it. Are you happy or are you mad with that decision? Okay, if you're mad, thanks for the product. I'll send it back to you. If you're happy with it, okay, how can I get my listeners and help my listeners save money on this product? Uh, so like I said, that's what we do is we're here. Oh, I see the Windsor Car Show is tagged. Thank you. We are looking at the Windsor Car Show this year in Port Gibson, Mississippi. I think that's an event, a car show that we are actually going to make. Uh, I think that's one of the first or the second. I think the one in Vidalia is the first one uh, that we're scheduled for. But I think the Windsor Car Show is the second one. So we will see that. We talked to, I can't remember her name. She's a nice lady. Yeah, but we talked to her, and I think we're going to be there for that this year as well. Um, Glenn said to drop the puppy off at his house. He's going to puppy sit that again. Glenn Coverson is going to puppy sit for us. That is awesome. Glenn said thank you, by the way, on the uh, on the on uh, uh, your show. Uh, so let's see. I'm getting a few messages pop up here on some other locations that we're feeding to right now. Uh Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So let me get back over here. Uh, another sponsor that that will be returning or maybe returning this year is Robert Forrester can tell you about these products. Hawaiian Island Shine Auto Detail Products. Uh, this is a premier auto detailing product on the on the market at affordable prices. And if you go to Hawaiian Island Shines website hawaiianislandshine.com you can do use the discount code wcc on that as well and get more money off those amazing prices that they already have um, you can also find the complete line of hawaiian island shine products anywhere the fury trailer is or the amelie gt automotive trailer is or uh any of the events that we attend uh, because that's something else that uh, you're fixing to find out. You hadn't heard this yet, but you're fixing to find out. Um, all right, let's see. Tonight on this first episode, we're talking about uh, promotions, uh, the sponsors that we have, the sponsors that we promote, and uh, what to expect this year on Whiskey Cars and Cigars, which I've already told you. You can expect more stuff coming from the shop. 
uh, another full season of shows which are being broadcast live on the Edge Radio US. Right now, if you don't have the app, download it. It's some really good rock and roll with classic rock blocks. You see Kane walking behind me. That's our eight, nine month old Great Dane. Uh, uh, Hawaiian Island Shine is has a four to five o'clock rock block. Uh, Hot Rods House of Power has an 11 to one rock block. Uh, Southern Outlaw Gazers has the 10 to 11 rock block. So we've got other companies and uh, Dice Converters will be doing a, a, a rock block, I think, from 1 to 3. Uh, and then I'm working on a drive, morning drive time show till 10, uh, but just trying to get everything caught up in the shop where we can actually break away. I can actually break away and do that. Um, and don't forget, if you know a business or have a business and you would like to get their products or services out there, uh, get in touch with us. Let us know. We can help promote that product. Uh, we actually have a pretty good following of people. Tonight we're starting a new year, so we're starting with a new show, and we're starting uh, our, our new uh, log or whatever. What's it called? The little diagram thingy that shows the bar graph. graph, bar graph on, on our uh, show views and, and, and things like participation on the show and all that cool crap, uh, which I've had to learn over the last couple of years. Because if you want sponsors, you got to be able to show them those numbers. And when they see those numbers and they see that that discount code produces money, they want you. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, let's see. And if you have or know of a business that would like to put would like to put their products or services out there for us to promote. Get in touch with me or Lynn. I would give you our email address, but right now we are doing in the process of changing some stuff. Uh, with a lot of the stuff that's going on in in everything in life right now, uh, there are some companies that are out there, not to mention any that I'm broadcasting on right now or anything like that, uh, that. Uh, I'm not real confident. confident of what they do and how they do it. So we are changing something. You know, we've got everybody who knows me knows we have, uh, let's see, the Veterans Tribute Project, Whiskey Car Cigars, the Edge Radio, Performance Metal Finishes, Vampire Chassis. Uh, I think we got something else, another domain out there. Uh, and we use Gmail for everything, but we're actually consolidating all those and we're going to be going with one new email address that's going to be for all the different businesses but it'll be it, it'll be it it's a change that we're making we're just trying to, to uh, look forward to being a little more self re, self reliant on what we do and not the services and the opinions of other companies so that sound good that sounded good. That didn't sound that that sounded that's kind of, kind of I'm sounded professional. Correct. I was I'm very politically correct. I don't have that in me right now. Uh, there's don't a lot of ass hats out there, folks. There's a lot of ass hats out there. Don't forget to check out the Edge Radio US. Listen to some of our music. We've got a tons of music. We've got harder rock music. We've got uh, oldies too. We're doing a, a cruise night where we've got some old 50s, 60s, 70s stuff playing. Uh, some really good music on that. We've got. Uh, uh, we're throwing in some uh, older 70s and 80s music in the and and even some 90s music in the during the daytime hours. Uh, so we're we're just we're changing it up. We had to get we were playing we were playing a lot of harder rock music, and we had a really good following with that. And it's kind of funny when we lightened up a little bit. We kept with all, we kept everything that was hard on the station, but we started adding some some you know. Uh, Martha and the Vandellas and 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 Beach Boys. Beach Boys and car music and and we started adding some stuff and man our listeners started going up even I mean we were averaging what forty nine thousand people a second something like that. a second or a minute yeah. or something like a minute forty nine thousand people we averaged forty nine thousand listeners a minute one hundred and fourteen countries on the Edge Radio US well those numbers are actually going up since we've changed the music format. And added some some more stuff, so that's we. I mean, we got some Manford Man and the Earth Band in there, some Jimi Hendrix. We got some. We got some really 
put some more Fleetwood Mac in there and a little Tom Petty and some Journey and some other things. So, what do you think? You listen. You were streaming it when I came in this evening. What do you think? How do you, how do you like? Jamming to Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck is always awesome. ACDC is great. They got a whole Lizzie Hale on there. Yeah, Lizzie Hale. She's got some new stuff out. Uh, uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, Kill J. I've got Kill J's music on there, just like I've got Seeking Seven, uh, uh, Caging Elliot, Five Stories. I've, I've got ton of music on there. So we, you know, we're not just playing all the big bad rock and roll powerhouses. We're playing some some small local bands and 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 up and coming bands and 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 stuff that we like. And evidently, other people like it too, because they telling me that they like it. Uh, and then we get some we get some requests for uh, you can you can leave a request in if you want to ha- do a request request music uh, send a dedication out to somebody you can do that on the edgeradio.com. Uh, there's some, there's a thing that you can click on and do that yeah stream, stream. on the stream yeah uh, oh I got a hi Mr John love the hair from Suzanne Jones. Susie and Mike in Pensacola, Rotary Gate System. They're friends of ours. I got to tell you, Good stuff, huh? hard cream soda. Got to love it. That's, is that the one I used in your bread pudding? That's the, yeah, I couldn't believe that. Lynn made bread pudding the night before last. And uh, she said, how do you like that? I said, this is really good. She goes, yeah, I used your hard cream soda. So she made bread pudding with 100 proof cream soda moonshine in it. It's a New Orleans bread pudding, so instead of the bourbon, yeah, we use use my moonshine. It's I got to tell you, it's awesome, and it's really moist. Did you use any of the mo- the uh, moonshine in the topping? The, what, is that? what is that topping? That's a vanilla. A vanilla uh, sauce. Sauce, okay, the sauce, bread pudding sauce, okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about motor oil. I got to get this in there. Sticking with us again for another year is Amelay oil. Uh, this season we'll be returning with Amelay oil products. Working with GT Automotive, the distributor for Amelay down here in Louisiana. Uh, I'm working for some awesome prices. I want everybody to listen to this. I'm working on some awesome prices for products that we will have in the Amelay GT Automotive trailer. This is going to be at all events that we're, we attend. Um, we'll be selling it by the case, by the quart, by the gallon, however the hell you want to buy it, we'll have it. Um, if, if there's a particular weight oil that you're interested in, let me know what it is because I, I know what I'm going to be carrying on the trailer so far. I'm going to have the Synthetic Blend 20W50. That's what I run in the Fury Dragster and a bunch of other people I know run. We're going to have the Amelie 50 weight conventional oil. Uh, we're going to have some of the 040, I think, or 540 uh, synthetic oil. We're going to have some of the uh, 1030 synthetic oil, 1045, 5, 530 synthetic. We're going to have a bunch of different oils on a, on a trailer. Uh, but if I have a little bit better knowledge of what people are looking for, uh, and and I can and the price that I've got this for is something that you're very interested in. Uh, please don't forget to give me a shout. Uh, but I want to have that on the trailer. We're gonna have MLA hats, stickers, uh, shirts, and anything else I can scrounge. Uh, G string. Oh, I don't say G strings. Glenn Coverson's eyes. I can tell his eyes just woke up. He, oh, Rico's. I could use one of them. But, uh, yeah, so we'll also be, we, we, if you have a shop that you do oil changes or service work in and you're interested in MLA products, that would be something else I can set you up as well. Kane, you do not need any moonshine, please. Um, let's see, here's another little note I think I already covered, but the intentions uh, this year, because of the con schedule is up in the air, uh, I was calling down cons to that. I was looking on Lynn's wall over here of the con, past cons that we have been at and find, telling her to contact some of these people and find out if they were doing anything this year. Um, 
Let's see. So, so we're going to be trying to do more car shows, more race events, more music festivals, more charity events, and anywhere that will have us. Uh, broadcasting everywhere that we go on the Edge Radio US and seeing old friends and making new ones across the country. So if you got something that you, you've got something that you've got planned, a car show uh, or whatever, uh, what did, all right, let's see, Susie sent me something here. What did you say for the eggnog fudge? Oh, it, the eggnog fudge. Susie and Mike, Susie came over and brought me some eggnog fudge. That was pretty good. She bought something else too, didn't she? Did she bring another flavor? Yes, yeah, she did. Um, I don't remember. We went to them pretty quick. Yeah, they didn't last very long, Susie. <laughs> Uh, you know, when, when, when you have Lynn and, and yeah, I didn't get to try much of it, but everything I ate, I enjoyed, you know, both of them. Uh, but yeah, Lynn's just, she, she just, you need to bring more. Um, and Robert Forrester coded, uh, commented, so did mine. Well, I'm glad I got, I don't know. He just, so did mine. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. So did mine. No. His, his moonshine tasted good. Well, so did mine, Robert. You know, that is a sad sight right there. Nope. I've got a wonderful wife sitting eight feet away from me and an empty moonshine glass sitting next to me. Which one do you think I like the most right now? All right, uh, let's see. So, <laughs> we are looking for an exciting season four. The dogs are decided they wanted to do something now. Lynn he's decided. He has some Southern Baptist in him. He's down there preaching. Yeah, he's preaching. Um, so, like I said, we're looking at doing some interesting stuff for season four here on Whiskey Cars and Cigars, as well as seeing everyone at uh, events. Uh, if, like I said, if you got something, let me know. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing enough in the shop to keep the lights on and the bills paid, but slowing down to enjoy more time on the road with uh, the product sponsors that we have, as well as our friends. Uh, so let me know, like I said, if you've got something coming up in your area. Uh, I know I had sent something out for the uh, uh, cancer kids. Uh, the other day, I'm waiting on to hear a response back from them. So we're trying to do some stuff with them. Uh, I've got something that's that's possible at the uh, cigar store in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, we're trying to do a veterans event down there, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking with them on that. So we've got some things that we're working on. Um, but like I said, anything you can think of or anybody that has anything that they would be interested in seeing my big head at, uh, let me know. We'll definitely try to make something happen and help promote that event for you. Um, okay, let's see. I'm 40 minutes into the show. This probably going to be, it depends on if Lynn comes back up here with any moonshine in a minute. Susie said she, uh, miss y'all. Oh, okay. All right. I miss. There you go. You misspelled that. So you misspelled it. Get it? All right. So let me see what happened. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to open this window back up. I'm sorry, it closed on me. Uh, but we are looking forward to another year of doing this, and hopefully we'll be able to be out on the road more than we were uh, last year, more than the road than anybody was last year uh, with everything. And if there's any questions that you have, anything you want to know, any products that you would like reviewed or information on or things like that, please let me know what those are because I have got so many contacts with so many manufacturers and, and companies. Uh, I will do what I can to find out something for you. Uh, we're still looking for a cigar sponsor. <laughs> Man, that's tough. As many cigars as I smoke, I'm having a hard time finding a cigar sponsor. So we will, we will have some specials on cigars from a couple of different companies next week. Uh, so all my cigar friends that are out there, let me know what you're looking for and I'll see what kind of deals. I, I just like working deals with these companies. I talk to them. 
uh, and and start talking about the radio station and start talking about the show and start talking about cars. And the cool thing about it is everybody's a car guy. You never know everybody on the planet is a car guy. Dep no matter what they say, they're a car guy. And when you start talking to them about cars, they wake up. So they're 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 very helpful and they want to and when, and when I explain to them well let me try something or let's do this or let's do this they're all into it so they catch a couple episodes of the show and if I don't get too drunk oh more moonshine hello everybody this is Johnny Blender and this is Johnny Blender's hard cream soda you're gonna love this at a race event coming to you because anybody who knows me likes to drink with me they like to hang out with me Glenn Cumberson tell them Hundred and ten octane. <laughs> it's illegal illegal to make moonshine and distill alcohol in the United States, but you can make race fuel, and that permit to make race fuel costs ten dollars. And you can manufacture ten thousand gallons of race fuel a year. <laughs> All right, everybody. I see my face is turning red. Uh, I drank about half of what she just bought me, so there wasn't very much in that glass, was there? No. Oh. Well, damn. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you for sticking with us for another year. Uh, like I said, the Southern Outlaw Gassers event that was scheduled for this weekend will be January 23rd at Cottonwood Dragway, Cottonwood, Alabama. Come check us out for the car show and a day of crazy cool racing with the old school gassers. Those cars are just awesome. They're going to have fr uh, Friday night's going to be test and tune, which is generally the time I like to test the moonshine and see how I, how much I can tune people up. That's pretty good, wasn't it? You like that? These dogs are driving me up the wall. It's just one, just the puppy. Kane, come here. This is our. Uh, come here, Kane. This is our nine-month-old Great Dane puppy who will always be right here except when I'm calling. Come here. Come here. Come here. Nobody can see you. Come here. Come here. Turn the camera. I can't turn the camera. It's a computer. Turn the computer. Oh, I could do that. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he got out of the way. There he is. Oh, he likes his little ball ball. He, he got out of the picture. All right, everybody, thank you. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with us for another year. We will try to make this year more eventful than the last year because the COVID sucked. Um, so thank you, everybody. Let's see. Suzanne Jones said, ha ha. Robert Forrester said, laughing my ass off. And Glenn Coverson, I can't wait to try that shine, buddy. Glenn, I can't wait for you to try this shine. I thought Glenn was going to say, I can't wait to try my Emily cheese string. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you. Uh, don't forget to catch us every day, every Thursday night at 7 o'clock here on the Edge Radio, on Facebook, but also live on the Edge Radio US is streaming. Uh, and we will have all the new locations that everything is up and running uh, once we get all this domain stuff taken care of. Um, so thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to check out our sponsors. Play the show. Share the show. Go back and listen to it again so you can hear about all the product sponsors that we talked about. Sit down, call them, find, look at their website, see if there's something that you can help you. Don't forget about that CBD oil, man. That stuff is awesome. Uh, so thank you. Uh, Suzanne said Kane. Kane is bad. Uh, good night, everybody. Have a great night. And let me figure out how to turn this damn thing off now. How do I end it? I'm asking a question. Um, I don't have an end. Oh, in oh, it's big, big bright button says end live video. Wow! <laughs> Good night, everybody. It's me, Johnny Blender, and my sarcastic wife. Bye.